What path do you think uh, M4 is going for here? I would think he's going for the... Uh, the path? Blinded by Flowers, but... Oh, yeah. Just given how... Wait, why are you not Game Master? Oh, I was doing that so I could look at their things while uh, oh. they were build deck building without them seeing my hand. Now I'm going to go Game Master. Alright, so let's see here. Um, so, wait, what is, what's the ultimate path? I remember the one that sucks all the ore and puts it to yourself. What's the other option? The other one is the opponent skips their next main phase. Fog. Hmm. Assuming he's going for the aura sucking one, right? That one's pretty solid if you're comboing it with just, you know, the open umbrella stuff, but... Yeah, that's what I would figure. But he's only got I can like actually one jump in here and say that I did some of the practice matches with Snake, and the aura sucking one is a complete dud in this matchup. Okay, okay. Interesting. You can't, uh, you can't ever get your aura empty enough to actually make a meaningful suck. Mm. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, right, because of the ice. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Normal one. Uh, I don't really check mulligans. Mulligans are pretty standard, I'd say. Most likely. Um, or and... I don't know. Yeah. He's re resetting because of the uh, upside down board glitch, which plagues this mod for some reason. Oh, yeah. It happens. Take a minute. So go over all the cards really quick. Not hit spread ever again. Um, yeah. So that's the, the obvious choose your own adventure card that you run Hanukkah A for. Um... This is yeah, interesting. This works pretty you. well with uh, with brands, I would think. I guess it also works with the the, the choose your own special. It's not running that another, many bloom cards, though. Oh. Another little bit of info from uh, the practice matches with Snake is that Seasons Turn Again is bar none the best card in M4's deck because it completely blanks um, one of Karunu's normals. I see. Uh, looks like the match is underway. M4 opening up with F1. I think it's fine. Not really. I mean, I don't know. I, I guess the aura fill could work with uh, Faint Spark and F Needles, but like, yeah, getting your aura empty is going to be a trick. I guess we'll see what he opts for. Oh, M4 opening up his umbrella turn one as well. Yeah, I think that's. Oh, it's not for wield. wield. I don't know. He doesn't have anything to wield because there's no shadow. Uh, ooh, I like that. It was the instant figure two card gain. Yeah. Uh, he's going to A1 here, most likely, or is he going to F1? Oh, he's F1. Okay. Yeah, I guess he's trying to get his specials online as soon as possible. Um, yep. This yeah, this is. Down here. This seems like what you would do if you're trying to go for Blinded by Flowers, because you just want to get that online before any kind of shadow gets developed. Yep. Seems pretty good. Like, usually if you're going to F1 really early, you're looking to activate a special very quickly with a. Um, that has perpetual value. So, so now he's going to get this train started. Um, snake needs a prom. There we go. Uh, let's see. Time storm. That's fun. And frostbite's going to be very frustrating. I actually kind of like the wheel in this matchup. 
not opening up a lot of aura for him to freeze. I think that's going to be really big. To make those blade dances nice, but... I mean, he's probably going to keep it at 4, I'd assume. That's like the best uh, spot to have your aura at versus Karuna. Then the epistone punishes, though. Yeah, I mean, can't beat everything, but I'd rather... Well, it depends. I guess it's all going to be situational when he chooses to take the 3-2 versus, like, the Ubastum, but, like... Usually, like, Ubastum isn't super good unless you have a follow-up with either, like, Porpachow or, um... Oh, I see. Yeah, Cyclone Frostbite. Blade's the one that gets completely blanked by Season's turn again. I see what you mean. Uh. So, let's see what Snake opts for here. Um... Looks like he, as I said, drafted a more aggressive deck here, so... Looks like he's gonna be approaching, as I would figure. I think what he wants to do here is get his... get his Upistum turned up so he can start last researching, but... I could do it here. It wouldn't research, would it? Could actually use this to advance more if you want if he wants to. Using the enhancement. Mm, yeah, dictate. That would be an aggressive move. I think he might want to hold on to that to guarantee blinded by flowers, though. How many cards are left in uh M forty six F stack? Just the guided path. Just the guided path. Which means there's a good chance he'll try it season's turn here. That looks like what he's doing. Yep. yep. Season's turn comes down here. Yep. Search his discard pile. Right. Yeah. Putting swing back in the throughout. Interesting. That's probably not getting played next turn, but. Eh. Mm. Depends no. on the way he executes the rest of the turn. Wait, it's hidden. He, he changed his no. mind. Yeah, it's hidden eels. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. I'm curious to see if he's going to approach a lot this turn. He definitely needs to dump some of his cards, so I'm assuming everybody's going to see that to just approach. Or. Okay, now he's got Guided Path. He's got to get that shadow up. Yep. Yeah, guy that or season's turn does. And here it comes blinded by flowers. Yep. Next part. Yep. Which uh, resurges season's turn again? Yep. Nasty. Yeah, <laughs> super nasty. Yeah, so now now it snake is the aggressor, so I guess it was a good call to go aggressive. I don't know. I figured I don't know. Figured snake would have. Yeah, I guess it's the other. He's thinking about thinking about this because of blade dance. He does have it in hand, so the three two looks like it will come down. But uh, doing this. This is just a yep. Well, actually, he didn't need to go to 5 aura to resurge that. To resurge it when his own has 5, the distance was there. Here's the 0 2. So early as well, he managed to set up the combo. You're still at 10 health. Oof. Yeah, it's going to be rough. Yep, no aura siphoning there, but. A typical Hanoka game. Wah, wah. Oh yeah, and that goes on bottom, so. Yep. Wait, so distance would have been enough though, right? You could yeah, have distance would have been enough. That's what... Unlucky. Distance is actually one of the easier ways to research it, depending on the matchup. 
Blade Dance coming down here. Yep. Um, let's see what he opts for. Um, I wouldn't be too surprised to, to see Flare, but or... you open up your aura, then you can start taking Frost. If you take it to life, then you are paying for your future blinded by flowers. You should just negate this, right? Oh, right. Probably. Yeah, by discarding the Dictate with uh, Karma Blossoms. There it goes. Yeah. That card is good. It's okay. Snake's getting a two for one there. What else does he really have, though? Does it have his the rest of his friends really awkward now? Because if you would open him up, um, is is that Rhyme Thorn or Frostbite? Frostbite. That oh yeah, frostbite. that would have opened him up big, as well. No, it's just awkward. Um, so. Here's a random question, but if you were to douse a bloom card, could you force it to bloom? Or does it refer to you? No, you cannot. Okay. Because you don't have any of your own set-aside bloom targets to bloom. Wait, that's probably wrong. Let me look into FAQ. So now he's going to get frozen up here. He's going to get Upa stummed into Frostbite, most likely. Or he has the opportunity to do it, at least. I'd like to take oh, it. here comes the dowsing. Oh. A little bit of light there, probably. Yep. Yeah. So what does this card do? Sorry. Dowsing is a card that lets you play one of your opponent's cards, assuming if you have the right mechanisms for it. You can pay, play any card from their played pile, and it takes the top card of their, play, of their deck and puts it in their played pile first. Pog. Okay, the answer to blooming your opponent's cards is just a flat no. You can't do okay. that. That that would be kind of disgusting, especially in regards to the charm. It's like a bit, a bit too, a bit too much, too intrusive, I guess. So you're just gonna draw here, I assume. Hmm. Not playing the oh, no, frostbite. Yeah, he can't really afford to play the Frostbite because he wants to reshuffle. So. Long reshuffle. Uh, change I guess he didn't have sure, mechanism right? for the dousing there. Or, not not really clear to me what happened off of it. If yeah, anything. I don't get what card he played as well. By not doing that, you make it fairly easy for M46F to research that. Hanukkah card special. Yeah. All right, that was the one, two. And so it should be trivial to get back up to five aura, right? Um, thinking about what he wants to discard, I guess. Either the enhancement or the um. The range chain modifier. Reel. Yeah. Oh, well, looks like he's gonna opt for the um chain reel. Oh, yeah, and goes for the enhancement as well. Empty. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah. A little extra pressure yeah, up right. to dictate. Closes. I guess the end. Oh, yeah, I think the answer is more like middle. why. I mean, does he get value off of this? I mean, I don't know. It's just a little extra pressure because the. Yeah. Blinded by Flowers is going to be another 2 2 next turn. And... Okay, so we have Frostbite and Rhyme. Oh, wow. Is he running Rhyme and Frostbite? Wow, you don't typically see that. And the 1 1 freeze. <laughs> but um... it's looking like a really rough position for Snake at this point. Yeah, I mean, this is like, as I said, the problem that I always had with Karuna is not being able to generate the pressure that I needed. Also, I mean, I had a pocket to Koyo, but I mean, it's just like, you kind of get into these weird situations where you just don't, you kind of need to, like, have these setup turns. Okay, so we which, got Rhyme Thorn followed by Ice Shards, which is going to be a 2 He's going to take, I think he's just going to take it, so, yeah. Very interesting. He's probably going to have to 
I think he'll be able to focus out of this next time. But I hope something does come down to research, get an extra frost token. Then, yeah, uh, it's um a little unfortunate. Yeah, the, the, what, the what I'm thinking is, was there any way for him to have prevented the the Honoka from going out there? I wonder. In deck building, I mean, not the not the cards in hand. The only way I could think of would be to be playing Himika or something like that. Wait, that's interesting. It actually doesn't <laughs> resurge, did he? No, he didn't do the order wrong. Yeah, it's awkward. Cause it's, but I guess devil. he doesn't want it to. You have Drain Devil coming down. Oh, and Frostbite as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's kind of gross. There's the, there's it, there it is again. That an immediate Oof, that's a four freezes on one turn. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. an immediate resurgence. And I have never seen that combo before, and that looked really good. Yeah. I wonder if it's enough, though. So now we need damage, but yeah, this is actually a really good setup, though. Um, doesn't really have a way to get rid of this freeze due to the frostbite. Oh, yeah, uh, that's true. Yeah. So now he needs to either find a way... I think he's just kind of going to rip his um, I think flowers, he just passed, or... right? Um, I think so. Well, I don't know. He could F1 and like, flip his umbrella and do the blinded by flowers, but... Can't do anything right now. Uh, yeah, I think it's just... Oh, wait, well, you're not allowed to take the focus action? Here. No, you cannot oh. focus for flare. Mm -hmm. Because the frostbite's done, you can't focus at all. That's a good card. It's a really annoying card because you have basically locks you out of bit taking basic actions. In many I cases. also think that's the first time I've seen Korunu used effectively. Keck. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I, I mean, in this matchup, it's probably the, 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 the best it's ever going to be. Your opponents has to focus to 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 actually spit up their their own engine, and you're not letting them, regardless mm -hmm. of ice tokens. No, oh, comes here comes this. Yeah, blade dance. I wonder if he wants to play around uh that Yukihi reaction. Oh, guess not. Yeah, I think he wants I to. If he, take... he should have taken the first wow. one one to life just to get flare and not open the the aura. I think he's trying well, to keep distance two, away two, right? from because of rhyme thorn. He is able to steal that in yeah. hand, right? That I... is Oof. very good. Oof. That is gross. That's so. That's gross. gonna be the first attack for Rhyme Thor next turn, but that's still really good. Mm-hmm. It's at the end of your turn, but. Hmm. You're right. Yeah. All right. So now it's an opportunity for M4 to maybe alleviate some of this pressure that's been put on him. Yeah. Let's see how he does. Could just go for a pierce here for two life, but I don't think he will. And um, it looks like most of their cards are kind of useless. Pierce is not in range. Oh, that's also true. Zero two. Nothing is in range. Does the uh, mm, hands of shadows? Hands of shadow do anything? That does nothing since yeah. Snake's flare is empty. I think you just discard both of those and focus four times it to vigor, right? You might mix between focusing and recovering. Well, if he fills his ore, the Nubus Summer Surges, and that triggers, what, Drain Devil, right? Or is it when it becomes devoted? Devoted, right? Um, yeah, so that would trigger the Drain Devil and research Nubus Summer. Oof. Mm. I mean, yeah, there's a, a lot of... Tough position to be in. <laughs> yep. He focuses. One focus. Oh, he's thinking about it. Still not sure. I wouldn't be either. It was just basically checking his ordering. I think this turn will consist of focusing. It's just 
thinking about the best way to do it. Yeah, I think you just have to play defensive and oh. yeah, and rely on blinded to amount pressure. So what do you think is gonna hit five range? Um Yeah, two two. Is he gonna flip his um his special to open his umbrella? I, I it, would. I guess? Um, mm. That might be a good call to get Aura from Wield again on Snake's turn. Yeah, I I would, yeah. I would certainly would. You just, I think you're right. You just dump focus, dump for focus here, and then um, you can use Wield you twice recover. with the abrupt yeah. transformation. Yep, yep. You you let the the the, the special do the 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 pressure, and then you just play defensive. I mean, yeah, the the throughout and the two vigor are definitely getting spent this turn. And I think M forty six F should have considered uh, reshuffling here. Mm, I don't think so. Just no, so you hit the five life to research your blinded by flowers again. That would have been pretty clever, mm, actually. Right, yeah, this. It's well, a little greedy, true. but. Because get... this way, your game plan's just really slow now. You have to wait another turn to. Actually, interesting. I actually think reshuffling actually might have been pretty decent here. He's drawing dead cards anyway. If he would have been able to put together some offense this turn based on what was on his deck, then I think it'd been worth it. But yeah, I think Meng brings up a good point. I think the reshuffle actually would have been good. It accelerates mm -hmm. his win condition, and he doesn't have to sit here with a bunch of dead cards, or at least maybe not. Yeah, it's the the. Do do you want to play defensive or do you want to go in? Well, I mean, I think completing, like, rushing your win condition is, like, not necessarily, like, well, I guess, I don't know. Uh, now, But now he just has this awful turn. I mean, there's no way he's going to hit R5 this turn. It's just too expensive for him right now. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he has to play, play four more actions, four more basic actions, likely. So, because he wants to leave with one card, or maybe not. Well, I don't even know. Does he have, like, more than seven cards in his deck at this point, or no? No. I don't think yeah, so. I think he actually could get away with hitting R five this turn. He could because but I mean, I feel like it'd be expensive, right? Well, when he uses his uh, Yukihi quick change react, that's gonna fill up two aura on the spot in reaction to an attack. And Kururu Kurunu can only potentially run three normal attacks at maximum. So if some of them are already accounted for in the discard, oh, yeah, he's it going might for be the safe. R5. It's interesting that Drain Devil would actually keep him from filling his aura with that reaction, though. If he, if it would cap his aura, that is. He just reshuffle his discard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's kind of funny. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah, he flipped. So that's his turn over. So if he does abrupt transformation, he's still going to be at one aura, right? Maybe not, because he wheels we'll he wheels after it. it. When we get there. Or is this where you ping Sheng asking how it resolves? Shen even conscious right now? Well, I think abrupt puts one shadow to your aura already, and that alone would trigger the resurgence, and then you can reveal wield after that. Because your umbrella state changed. Uh, true. What's the specific wording on a pass them? Your opponent's aura becomes full as the immediate resurgence. Immediate resurgence. Hmm. So it turns down after you use a bread transformation, then. Then Drain Devil, Drain Devil should proc after that to steal an aura, and then you should be able to... What's the wording on wield again? Whenever you open or close your umbrella, you may reveal this card from your hand and one shadow to your aura. Let's check the FAQ for if <laughs> wield goes first. <laughs> Yeah. 
right, Snake's turn here. Um, Blade Dance looks looks good. Uh, mm, not Blade it's a Dance. It's a two-one uh, here. Yeah. Um, I guess he has all of his attacks. I mean, he probably just rips them all, right? Cyclone is a blank card. Moving up and cycloning and forcing the reaction isn't the worst because then you can follow up with Blade Dance. Oh, okay. We're opening it with Blade Dance. Life. Yeah, it's just one life. <laughs> Unfortunately, this means he doesn't get to hang out at five life because he's going to be reshuffling next turn. But yep, very well done. But just needs to snake. reduce Snake to five life, and then he's all good. I wonder if we're going to see the uh, last research. Um, uh, guess not. Wait, did he just? Okay, no, he just he discarded Cyclone for a basic there. Oh, he took the <laughs> the dictate. Whoops. <laughs> dictate this one zero one nothing. One dash, I guess. I think we're going for five player. Do anything here. Um, abrupt transformation would let you hit for two life, but I don't know if that's worth it right now. Uh, do we know if Yukihi revealed all her specials yet? Um, Yukihi has definitely not revealed all her specials yet. It is just, uh, I think the only one that hasn't been revealed is Abrupt, so, yeah. Uh. Could be a threat between that and, um, well, it's a little odd because, um, Swaying Flame's usually a double combo. It's usually Abrupt and then Swaying Flame, so. Well, here comes the 3-2, right? Ooh, interesting. To Aura. So abrupt might come out here just so that you can. Oh, abrupt is get two life in, but yeah, it's not it's not amazing, it's but it might be so enough. Useless. Might be good enough, I think, because you go to. You could get like three life here, right? Of dictate and abrupt into the. Yeah, uh... that's true. Doesn't Dictate only hits Aura? Uh, no, Dictate is a 1-1. One, one. Oh, it's a 1-1, one, one, right? 1-1, one, one, no reaction. Yeah, yeah. I'm mixing I think that has with, to uh... be correct going for the 3 life, because how else are you going to resurge your Blinded by Flowers? It's true. It's in any zone? Or more? Oh yeah, if he had gone up to 5 player, that would have worked too, but... That... Yeah, that's what I was thinking of how he was going to hit it. Oh, he can't he focus because he's got the ice. Oh. I'm dumb. <laughs> oh, right. right the, only gonna, way, gonna... the only way to research is to deal three life damage. I'm confused where the third life damage is coming from. He has one with the. If you the abrupt rare. transformation, you have the one, two, and then you follow yeah. up with dictate. And snake is sitting on zero. Aura. Oh, I thought okay. I, I thought that card yeah. was just a one one after disenchanted. That's not what it is. No, it's a one one no, at the no. end of turn. Yep. <laughs> How bad would that card be if it was just a one one after disenchanted? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It's probably deciding what. The what? Oh, I guess he's not going for it. Alright, so... Not today. Yeah. yeah um, just... did he just focus? Uh, yeah, he's yeah, he's spending... Sadly, he's I don't think that works. 
Uh, I don't think because he wait he has to do the um. Really, I actually didn't know that you have to get rid of the I, ice first. If you're frozen, you have to remove the ice first oh, before you can focus. I didn't know that either. Because well, if can... you look at Koronu's tarot card right there, if you could zoom in, please. We just alt, yeah. Oh. It says... So he can get one flare instead of two. Right. No, I don't think... I think we've been watching. Alright. I've been eating my dinner maybe... off the floor, so... <laughs> Maybe he's just not seeing it, the, the the three life damage. Well, he's got another chance now, but... Yeah. Maybe... Try Let's again. Get you focused on using the uh, Yukihi special as a reaction? Yeah, I'm not really sure what he's looking for here. He definitely wanted to get his... Flare to five, but yeah, I think he might just do it. He's looking at his specials again. You definitely can't get your flare to five with uh, yeah, so that's what he wanted. But I think he's gonna have, I think he realized he's gonna have to abrupt transformation. I think he sees it, I think he just wanted whether or not he's gonna do it, right? Has Snake just not been able to use last research? He was able to use it last turn, oh, okay, and it's that. But he chose not to. Because he has nothing to hold this flare back for at this point, right? Other than perhaps threatening something. Is there anything you want to threaten? Um, he might threaten Maybe similar the... or something like that, but. It... Maybe and the for... uh, coordinated reaction or. Oh, um, which one are you? <laughs> uh, it's only from the discard pile. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> oh no, he's still doing it. Oh, you get to oh, draw. To draw a card, yeah. Hmm. I don't think that's a card he wanted to see. Discard. <laughs> yeah. You just get to take a recover action, right? Is that how that works? Yep. Does doing that lock out your chances of dealing three life damage now? Um, how much flare is abrupt? It's one, I believe. Uh, and flare. And still, but you have to consider that. not letting a past them resurge. So that's a few extra vigor to focus away the ice tokens and moving in. Yeah, he's just discarding. He's not going for the three life. He's going for the. It's a weird turn. Yeah, it's a long turn. Oh, what? wow. One flare burn. I guess. Ooh. It's kind of valuable, but need. Oh, that's true. It also rounds out the deck a little bit. Well, no, it odds it out. But he's got season turn back from not doing that, so that that is. Do you get rid of some more ice tokens here? No, he's done. No, yep. guess not. Uh, yeah, he gets. His... Oh, to be fair, Snake is out of rotation for his. No, what? Uh, what's happening? Oh, he forgot to take a token when he. Oh, that is true. That is correct. It is true. But it does not research this turn. Yeah. He did wield, but I think he's forgetting to put the. Oh yeah, yeah. Wait, did he? I thought he. He did. He yeah. showed wield. Yes. Oh, yeah, he took one for his wield. I don't think he took one from his. Um... No, he got to recover from season's turn. And then he gets to recover mm -hmm, from wield mm -hmm, also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think he yeah. took the wield one. I don't think he took the season's turn one. Definitely okay. did not take the wield one. He no, no, he, he, take the, oh. he, he, take, he, he did take the season's turn one. Oh. Snake reminded him. Oh, I see. 
Is that Frostbite or Ramthorn in his hand? I believe that is Frostbite. Frostbite. Is it worth it playing it right now? Um, yeah, I would say so. You continue to the frustrate the, uh, the researching on uh, Blinded by Flowers and make the next turn pretty dead for M4 if you do that. And you research your up as time. Oh. Yeah, no. All around. I think it's good. And you can even ice shards if you want after that. <laughs> Shows intent. Oh, that is gross. That is Wait, where do so you get the gross. aura from? From Drain from Devil. From Drain Devil. Oh, yeah. Paul. And it's gonna, he's gonna do it again, right? How would you consider throwing he, out Cross uh... Shard? Yep. Wait, is that Ubisum supposed to be resurged? Yeah. Nope, because it, it doesn't resurge when it re when it fills. Yeah, oh. it fills. Only when something else re fills, the, fills the aura up. I thought the Frostbite just did. Uh, no, he Frostbit and then Ubisum stumped because oh, Frostbite causes the resurge. Oh. Yeah, so this this might cause it to research if he takes it to aura and goes full full five eyes. Yeah, he's got to take it to aura though, right? Tough call. Would you take it to aura, or would you take it? I think it's just the aura, right? You take it to aura, you're fully locked on your next turn, like completely can't do anything, and you can't move forward at all anymore. So we can focus one and then move forward one. Yeah. That's only if you take it to life. Be. Yeah. If only he if only he had Oh wait, 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 wait. The, the throughout instead of the He can't focus period because of uh, frostbite, so that's not oh, an option either way. Like... That's true. Oh that is gross. Yeah, I think you take it to life then. I think you have to take it to aura. I think Aura is the right call, because then you're playing around... Well, you're playing around... You're not playing around anything. I don't know what I'm talking about, because the ice shirt afterwards. <laughs> I was thinking of, both, of both the... Both suck. <laughs> ...of Blade Dance, but... Then you just die sometime next turn to Blade Dance. Yeah, because you can't get rid of any of these ice tokens. You can't move forward. You can't move backward. You can't, <laughs> you can't recover. All your I basic actions are for not. One figure left. What's he going to do with it? It could just be A1 or recover one, I think it would be. Recover yep. or forward. Just recover. No, he... nice. Recover's better because it plays around Pierce. Yeah. Also plays around the like, open umbrella in general. Making it to aura instead of life is you also can't retreat now. Because you can't get any idols into your aura to back up. Yeah, if you had left it, if you'd taken it to life, you could, if nothing else, try and back up to range five. But there's also a massive health gap between them. Nothing works here. No, he literally, wait, wait, can he even do anything this turn, actually? Besides just discard two cards? <laughs> just forced to discard. Um, you could, you wow. could bloom your Charm of Blossoms, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. You can concede I mean, the game. <laughs> could just mm. hold on to your Charm of Blossoms to That's what I was that. thinking. Play that. Yeah. Now you know it's coming. Yeah. But you can't do anything else, so. Yeah, I'm sick with a huge leech here. And you also can't research your. Since you're wasting uh, one, two, 
three to four vigor anyways. I feel like picking the rush shards to life would have been better. Just so you can retreat back to range five to research yeah. something. Hmm. Well, I mean, then he then he has even a larger life advantage. I don't know. I don't think any either option was particularly good. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I I didn't like his position back chance, when he didn't so. take the the three life damage that he had. That would have been a really good play, I think. But I think wasn't... missing missing that play was probably his last. Last yeah. chance. Long reshuffle. Oh. And, uh, complete draw. Mm. <laughs> I wonder, Unlucky is draw. that a Rhyme Thorn in his hand? Oh. It's a Rhyme Thorn for sure. Yikes. Can he do anything at all? The only thing he can steal right now is Dictate. Or possibly something off the top. Oh, it's it's brands oh. on top. So dictate might actually be good enough. Um, he can only do that if he he has to uh, up a stump or nothing to get that to work. But it's definitely a possible. Rhyme thorn a dictate is to life no. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is to life. Yeah. That is correct. So he would have to do it in the right order too, though. Like be he has to do the epistone first, then Rhyme Thorn. Yeah. Uh, is it the first attack that this turn or the first? First, the first non-special. Oh, non-special. Okay. You make. Oh, you're right. It wouldn't work with epistone then at all. It's just the first no. one each turn, not the oh, first wait. one after you play it. No, but it is. It's just non the first non-special and a first non -special. is a special attack. Oh, you got me. Yeah. All right. I and Dictate even has no reaction, so you can't turn yep. Blossoms in. <laughs> wow, that, that's true. It's kind of gross. I wonder if they can spot that. Yeah. He doesn't really need it, though. So maybe he's just not looking for it. Like, he, he is in a good enough position. He also he doesn't, doesn't, doesn't to... know what the last special is, so he has to play around the possibility, the insane possibility of a swaying flame turn, but... Hmm. Then would you do something stupid like backwards movement on top of that? Good that M46F is staying with the open umbrella, so there's the smallest chance of him threatening Swaying Flame. Well, I guess it's worth saying that if Snake is planning on playing around Swaying Flame, he has to move back here, right? Regardless of... Because um... he can't build enough aura to play around it this turn, right? Oh, no, I guess he could if he discarded everything into it. That would be so... Oh, I guess he's going for it. Looks like he's going yes, for he's it. Gonna... Play around Swaying Flame. Oh, he's going for last research, okay. Yeah. Interesting order. Well, he needed the attack. Well, it doesn't really, doesn't really matter, because it's on the end of the turn. The dictate attack. It does give you one more target. That's a good point. Yeah, he might get an even better attack out of it. Well, in that case, maybe he should have played the rhyme first. Well, last research just pulls it out of the discard. Then you can douse it afterwards. Oh wait, no, he can't. He can't douse anything. He doesn't have mechanism for an attack. 
He needs does to... have a has them. It is. He has to have two red. Does he? Yeah, two red? it's red and then X for its main type. So it has oh, to be two red. Oh, I see. I see. But with Rhyme, you can do uh, red, green, so. Oh, dang, he got it. <laughs> All right. Oh, here it comes. He's going to grab Dictate, it looks yep. like. Wait, well. Okay, so that's a 2-2. Two, two. Yep. <laughs> Here comes the sudden realization. Yeah. Well, then he has to reshuffle <laughs> as well. Yep. Oof, that is cruel. That's the longer, long, long ass reshuffle. Um, there's five flares, so I can get um, the zone for is this. Is where you wish you were running Swaying Flame instead? <laughs> um, he would be able to do it. Is that lethal if he had Swaying Flame? Uh, no. 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 no whatever. Well, There's actually, if you follow up with some of these other attacks, maybe. Especially if you could, if you had this resurge, but eh. it, it's just a no. I mean, players would be left at one life, so... I would give you a comeback chance. Uh, at least he can die with no ice on his <laughs> sorrow. Oh, he's stepping forward. Hmm, trying to go to range yeah. zero, maybe. I think he has to to try and duck. Snake here yeah. probably expecting the swing flame, but it won't yeah. happen. <laughs> like this is this is the time. This is it. Best. And <laughs> turn. Yep. And then the thing triggers. Resurges, I mean. Mm. Yep. Mm-hmm. No. Oh, Arm Thorn doesn't break. Because he has ice token. Yep. You got another 2-2 two, two dictate coming out at the end of turn. That wins the game. Oof. Yeah, it's true. No way. Right, he just he can dies. just pass them in. That's why you uh, fix yep. your All right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, uh, looks like a pretty huge deficit. Yeah, that I was a uh, match on. Basically, from the moment that those ice tokens filled the aura, it was kind of over. Yeah, didn't really have a great to get rid of them. Very well done from Snake being able to show a lot of versatility with the deck. But yeah, as I mentioned before, um, Snake was definitely ready for this matchup. He has a lot of practice. While M4 seemed to be rather just excited to try the matchup versus having explored it already. Yeah, possibly hasn't played too many Karunas.